What's going on guys? Welcome back to Seed Saturday Showcase, the weekly series where I bring you a Minecraft Seed and show you everything on that world. Today's Seed is a classic and it is set on a small biome. Today's Seed is as follows, it's minus 7366, 2560, 309, 7757, 3921. Let's load up this seed. This seed has in fact got one village, three mansions, one ravine on top of the surface that I could find, and three mob spawners directly next to each other. So you are in fact going to spawn in this little location here, just towards the bottom right hand side of the world, round about X209, Y98 and Z254. We are in fact going to ignore the first mansion behind me. We are in fact going to go down the right hand side of the world from the bottom. And we are going to scoot across just down here. And this is where all the action begins. You've got your extreme hills. You've got a few birch and woodland areas. You've got your spawn and you've got your swamp as well. So just down here you've got a couple of caves. But you've also got your three mob spawners. So if you come across to this location for X-163, Y-78 and Z-362, drop down this little hole here and you are in fact going to come across two chests and a skeleton mob spawner. Your first chest has some diamond horse armor, two saddles, some string and some bones and whatnot. Your second one has another saddle, a name tag and some string, melon seeds and all that good stuff. If you come out of this one and move just to the right hand side of this, you have in fact got your second mob spawner at X minus 166, Y75 and Z353. Drop down this one and this one is in fact a zombie spawner with two chests. The first chest has in fact got a golden apple, some beetroot seeds, some bones and melon seeds. Your next one has in fact got some gold horse armor and some bones and a iron bucket. Come across out of this one and come across to the furthest one just adjacent to this and is in fact going to be a spider spawner. If you come across to X-212, Y65 and Z323, this is where you'll find your last very close by mob spawner with one single chest that has in fact got the cat music disc some redstone and some iron horse armor which isn't too bad you could do a huge huge mob farm just including those three could you imagine how much xp you'd get just from this little location and then just from the right hand side of this you have in fact got a woodland mansion as you know by this series by now i don't explore the mansions i leave it up to you guys but come across to x minus 216 Y101 and Z200. This is your first mansion that I'm showcasing out of three. The rest of this bottom left hand side of the world is pretty much of a forestish biome. You've got the dark oak, you've got a couple of mushrooms, you've got normal oak, you've got birch, you've got another swamp just close by. So it's not a bad little area. I would maybe build in this area. If you wanted to get rid of some of the extreme hill or perhaps build on top of that hill maybe even convert the mansion into one of your own houses but coming across from that side of the map you are in fact going to come across another swamp and the second woodland mansion on this world if you come across to the coordinates at x minus 249 y99 and z-119 that's your second woodland mansion explore it see what's in there and then top end of the world you have in fact got a small small desert nothing fancy nothing big it's just a standard little desert to say that the rest of the world is pretty much a woodland struck foresty biome this you know isn't bad it could be much much worse but yeah that's in the top left hand corner of the world coming uh, from the top end of the world you have in fact got or extreme hills you've got more forest and you've got more caves directly underneath 
if you keep going across to the middle top side of the map you've got a huge little water section unfortunately there's no ocean monument or anything like that perhaps if you extended it onto a medium or a large scale for this world you've got more opportunities for ocean monuments and all the other good stuff that you can get within the worlds coming down the right hand side of this world you have in fact got a lovely little ravine but it's nothing exciting there's a little bit that you can just see you've got some exposed iron and coal and whatnot but if you come across to these coordinates just here at x410 y66 and z minus 142 feel free explore it it may lead into something else a little bit lower down you have got a lovely little pumpkin just there so if you want to get yourself a lovely little jack-o-lantern feel free pick it up you have in fact got another swamp just behind this little section as well but yeah that's at the right hand side up to now if you keep going down you've got more swamp there's swamp all over this world i don't know why but there's no witches huts you've got more caves and whatnot just across here go explore them feel free to and then just near spawn you've got in fact the third and final woodland mansion but again there's nothing nothing really exciting within this mansion that i've actually seen so i'm not going to actually go inside it like i don't do with the others but for coordinates are x147 y107 and z148 just behind this as you can see there's a purple beacon and you all know what happens with purple beacons it is in fact the end now it's a bit of a weird end because it's a dungeon but it's a bit of a mess and you'll see why when i go down if you come across to x minus 36 y64 and z32 this is the dungeon as you can see yeah it looks like someone's just been in with tnt and blown the whole thing up you have in fact got a couple of chests laying about you've got gold you've got bread and some iron boots just past this chest you have in fact got your library i'm pretty sure there's two libraries in this one that i actually found if you come across to the first chest just here inside this you have in fact got a lovely enchanted book which is sharpness three power three and unbreaking three and then the one just above in the top right hand corner you have in fact got another enchanted book which is power three as well so you've got two pretty good enchanted books for some buzz if you come down back through the library oh moving away a little bit up and you can see that it splits off into a huge cave and a huge huge little ravine system as well so come down here explore it you've got emeralds here it looks like there's just one alone emerald just there you've got some lava so do be careful of that you've got more caves leading around here but to be fair the rest of this dungeon is a bit awkward now you're gonna have to like build your way across and find little rooms and whatnot i have in fact tried to find the actual portal and that's where you guys come in leave the coordinates in the comment section if you actually find it because i spent at least 15 minutes looking for this portal i launched ender pearls i launched eye of enders all that good stuff i couldn't find it so leave it in the comment section for everyone else to find it if you haven't already there's another chest just here there's in fact an ender pearl and an apple but yeah come across here explore it just please leave the coordinates in the comments because i couldn't find it if you come out of here as well if i can find my way out of here there we go there is in fact one village on this world if you come from the end and you just go to the left hand side you can see this lovely little spruce village just here it's not too big not too small but there is in fact a blacksmith on here as well if you come across to these coordinates just here to x minus one two three y83 and z22 come across here and make your way through this little gap just here and there's a chest in here with some diamond horse armor some iron boots an iron sword two pieces of gold and three pieces of bread there's only one village but i would suspect if you enlarged it once again there would be more villages on this world that's going to be the end of this seed if you've enjoyed it leave a like ding dong that bell subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next episode until then take care and goodbye